Lord, help me, please. My marriage is in trouble. The author, the playwright, Mr. LaShawn Mitchell. If you dealing with some hey, rich niggas, on, we the law symbol speaking cryptic codes. First of all, are you married, LaShawn? <laughs> yes, I'm actually married, man. I've um, been married 10 years. Um, I got a lovely wife, you know, but, you know. Is your marriage in trouble? <laughs> I'm not going to speak about that on TV, <laughs> but no, I, no, um, seriously, we, we, you know, we're doing well, you know, we, you know, every, every marriage has its ups and downs and things of that nature, but you just have to work them out, you know, you got to get them together. Now, how long you guys been married? We've been married 10 years, man. 10 years. Yeah. Now, hold on, in this day and time, that's a little foreign. Maybe back in the day, they were married, they were married 50, 60 years. Okay. You know, but nowadays it won't make it past two. Three, now, five Mr. Mitchell, years. I yes, want to ask you what has been the biggest help in your relationship that caused you to stay married for ten years thus far? Well, first, um, it's God first. You know, because you have to pray hard when you're in a marriage. Because first of all, you, you got differences. You know, that's I guess that's what make a marriage work. Because I think people who are the same. I don't think they would work, you know. You have to have your differences to balance out, right. you know. So basically, you know, it, it takes a lot of prayer and it takes a lot of patience. So now, is communication the key, like like they like the older folks say? Yeah, the communication is the key. That's the key. You have to be able to communicate with your wife or your husband, and you have to talk to each other. You right. can't. You just can't sit there and 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 be upset. And, and just, you know, don't communicate with your wife or your husband or you as a husband doing things without your wife, right. even knowing about it, or vice versa. What keeps the flame lit between the two, your passion? What keeps that alive in, in a marriage? Well, my belief, I think you have to bring new things to the marriage. You know, you have to just keep trying to bring new things to your marriage. You know, you just can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again because it gets boring. It starts to become repetition. You know, you can't just keep just, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. And just like that old saying go, the things that you've done to get her, right. those are the things that you have to do to keep her. Have you ever uh, did any role play? I don't even try and get to a listener or nothing like that. But have you, any of those things ever come into play before? Well, you know, it, it all depends on if, you know, if... Both parties is up with that. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. So you have to be on a, on one accord. You just can't come in there with a mask on your face. <laughs> Bow! You know, come go in there. She might not, she, she might, you know, people register now, man. She might bust a cap in you or something. You you know, you, you got to let her know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But I think personally the role play thing is a good thing because, you know, it gives you that fantasy. Right. You know, you know everybody wants that fantasy. And what I believe if you become the fantasy and she becomes the fantasy, then you don't go outside the marriage. You just keep it right there. Right? Yes, yes. Which is your company with your wife? Yes. I mean, how aesthetic is it? I mean, how great is it to have a company that you're running with your, your wife of 10 years? Yeah. And she's working with you involved in that. How great is yeah. that? How it, fulfilling is that? That's great, man. It's, it's, it's real great because we can go home. You know, when you got a job, you know, everybody goes to their own house. Right. You know, and then you can't discuss it until the next day. But this, at this job, at this particular company, you know, we run the business, we run it, and then we go home and we say, you know, we need to do this or we need to do that. We're able to discuss it. And when you're dealing with your wife or your husband in the business and you guys don't want to court, you can make, you, you can, you, your business will run better. Entertainment has been in my blood forever, you know what I'm saying? Since I was coming up, I always wanted to entertain. So now God has gave me the opportunity to put it out there, put my thoughts and my feelings and just put it out there. Right. Now, now, when you say you wanted to always be in the entertainment yeah. business, was it always being a playwright? No, no. I've I done, I done music. You know, I used like to be in the singing. rap game back in the day. In the rap game yeah, too. you know, I used to, you know, flow and everything. Now your play is is set is scheduled to give its first show at the East Cleveland Theater, right? Yes. How e big is that? Yes, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Now, yes. what a lot of people may not know is it's not a whole lot of plays. It used to be back in the days yeah. coming from the East Cleveland Theater. Yeah. Uh, what what's what's been up with that? You know, what's been well, up with that? Well, um, the East Cleveland Theater they have their own season. And it's from October to May where they do 
theater plays. You know, they do, you know, Soldier Story and Fiddler in the Roof and stuff right. like that. Right. But I'm bringing a play to East Cleveland Theater uh, outside, of the, outside season. of the season. This is my own production. Okay. Coming straight from One Shot Productions, they get. I have to give big ups to uh, East Cleveland Theater because they has given me my opportunity. I was so determined to right. do this play that I called all of the theaters, you know, to give me an opportunity to show what I have. Right. East Cleveland stepped up and said, "Listen, this is what we'll do. You know, you can rent the theater, mm-hmm. and that's what I done. Okay. Rented the theater." It's my production. Everything that comes through there at, from this, at this point is mine. Okay. So, um, but I, we, 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 you know, they gave me an opportunity to bring this play alive. Wow. You know, so I got to give big ups to them, to the right. East Cleveland Theater. Yeah, right, big um, ups. First thing. And the second thing is, um, this is, you know, after their season. So now, you know, it's time for me to shine. Now, you got some great actors and actresses that help you bring this play to life. Oh, yeah, man. Now, oh, who, who man. are some of the main characters? Because I, I got to believe it's set up around, you know, marriages. And oh, yeah, who are man. Some of the main characters? Um, we have an awesome, awesome cast, man. Uh, we have uh, Jaquetta Tucker. She plays the leading lady in the play. She actually plays my wife. In the the in the play, you, you star in it too because I also star in it. Then you shine Get on my shine on, man. You know, <laughs> I feel like this triple if threat. triple threat, baby, yeah, triple right, threat. Right. You know, yeah. um, oh yeah, man. We got Sahana Suave Blue Swag. She is an awesome poet, man. You want to hear some great poetry? Come on to this play. I'm telling you, she's, she's going to be doing awesome. that in the she's play. She's going to. She's got a spot in there, man. That a that, oh, so goodness. you got poetic pieces yeah, in the yeah. play. Oh, yeah. What about uh, singing? Oh, yeah. I got the gospel great, Tina Farmer. Tina Farmer. She's in my play. She's going to uh, she's gonna blow the house down. You know, we got uh, James Walker. James, his name is James Jimmy Walker. Every, everybody think he's J.J. from Good Time, <laughs> right, but right. that's not him. <laughs> okay. You know, but um, he, uh, man, you're talking about some guy, a person who has a soul that, that sings from the soul. Right. Jimmy Walker, man, you got to check him out. Now that's got to be a t- uh, t- tedious task, man, to to be a playwright, the author of the play, direct it, and star in it. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, I mean, that calls to be on a lot of hands on. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. how did you stay focused and not get frustrated when things weren't weren't going along with your vision? Then you had to put it back into your vision. Trust me, trust me, there was a lot of frustration, but I kept it strong, kept praying. I kept praying and I kept talking to my wife. My wife kept me in line. Right. That's what I gotta say. That she kept me in line, and not only did she keep me in line, a lot of the cast members kept me in line. Right. You know, so we was basically keeping each other. Right. And, and and that's what kept me focused. Like right now, I'm ready. Now, now that you had right. your final rehearsals and everything, and you see the play through and through, mm-hmm. and you're looking at your vision and this fruition of it. You know, has it taught you anything? Has you know, as, as you sat back, like wow, you know, it, it made you think, like I didn't know I was gonna, I, I, I didn't know I was gonna feel like this, or I didn't know I was gonna learn this about myself. Yeah. Did any of those type uh, of man, things happen? I'm gonna tell you, yes, all of that happened because f- at first it was just a vision. It was just a vision and a thought. Right. But now your vision, my vision, has come alive. Right. So now it's like I'm sitting back looking at it. Right. Like man. I didn't know it was like this. Right. Seriously. I mean, even just sitting here with you, brother. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Sitting here with you, brother. I'm getting an interview right now. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's big to me. Right. Because, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of people has been pulling at me and that haven't even seen the play yet. Right. Right. So it's like, wow, so it's gotta be God bless me. How long did it take you to come up with the play? Uh it took me probably about a good year to write it you know and 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 that's just writing it going to work doing you know living life right coming back to it writing it some more and put it together and when i put it all together and i read it i was like this is it 